Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching full take few days back we reviewed the unofficial build of rise.8.0 by Veritas since then big controversy is going on between developer of official build Optimus Prime and Veritas regarding creating of unofficial builds we already seen some difference between official and unofficial build of rise droid so today we are going to flash the official build of rise droid we will see its new change log its new features added performance comparison of both the builds of rise droid major difference between these two builds and finally have given my final verdict is this controversy worth or not if you are thinking why i did not create it official evolution next video then answer is developer has completely changed the flashing of new retro fits builds so after review of other roms updates i will definitely create its video so wait i also didn't create the cherry source 4.2 video because i got one major issue there once it's get fixed i will upload that video also flashing process is simple like we did previous versions of the rise droid download the file boot to the twrp flash the new rise droid file if you're already on the official rise droid then download and flash the otty stock ot updater after flashing tap add once and select flash current twrp reboot to the twrp tap wipe and do format data if you guess the red line error then go to the settings tap rmrf setting and then format data now reboot back to the twrp once again do the format data and then reboot to the system so all the things are done here now with the further ado let's get started on the new adventure So we booted with the new rise droid boot animation after completing the setup let's check out the bot phone to compare its changes with the unofficial rise droid so phone booted with the new rise droid wallpaper with the sushi launcher if you goes to the bot phone this is the same rise droid user interface 3.0 if you tap on the rise version 8.0 it's based on the lineage sources so we guess the lineage was easter egg here if you check the android version it's same like the android 13 based roms but now this rom is based on the latest sources of android release candidate 13 it has the same old easter egg of android 13 security patch is of november 2022 which is same as unofficial version build date of rom is of 19th november 2022 the major difference between this official and unofficial build is this rom comes with the primus kernel 4.9.308 Build it on the latest Clang toolchain, while unofficial build is based on the MCD kernel. We will check the kernel superiority and the fluidness of the ROM in the performance section of the video. So first we will discuss the changes that we get here. So finally ROM comes with the face unlock setup of the face unlock is quite easy and fast. It's detecting the face accurately and working seamlessly. Except this some more customizations were added in the new build. In the personalization setting and under the user interface, who gets the new about phone style, which displays the about phone at the top of the setting panel. Actually, this is already available from the old updates. In the setting style, who gets these new setting styles, which looks cool. Default setting I used here is the Google Material U. Other settings preview you can check on the screen. In the same user interface who gets the bunch of the new clock and the date fonts, you can check some of them as shown on the screen, I especially like the nothing.os font. We can forcefully activate the double line clock using the double line clock toggle. Under the miscellaneous setting, we get the smart pixel setting, which you already discussed in the old unofficial build video. Here, we can turn off the screen display pixels to the specific percentage, which help us to save the phone's battery, especially when the phone's battery is going to die. Other retaker notification setting is also available here with the new animation toggle, along with the new pop-up notification style that founds in the Samsung's one user interface. Except these other customizations for the status bar quick setting panel are available here 
you can check them in the details from the iCard video. Except this ROM comes with the new app lock feature available in the security setting of the phone. Here you can add any application in app lock. You can also set the app lock timeout. ROM comes with the two different camera applications like one is the linear Joe's aperture camera application and another one is the Griffin camera app. Both are the basic camera application. They have 4K recording, barcode scanner, but no portrait mode, 4K 60fps option, nightscape, slow motion, time lapse, etc. To use this feature, I recommend you to use the Google Gcam MGC build from the link under the video description. If you check the unofficial build, you get the fully working OnePlus camera and the OnePlus gallery. This is the major addition in unofficial builds. But still, Gcam is now almost fully working on the custom ROMs, so you may not feel this is as a deal breaking issue for using this official build. Now comes the major part performance of the ROM. Performance of the ROM is super smooth and fluid, apps opening, closing, switching between applications, all the things are just perfect. Even you didn't feel any frame drops, it's constant on the 60fps. While using day-to-day -day task, I felt this build is more fluid than the unofficial build by the Veritas. So to confirm, we ran the Geekbench test for the single core. Here I got 472 and 2120. While on the unofficial build, that time we got 492 and 1955. For the multi-core, this ROM just nailed out the results by any ROM till the date. And it's actually reflecting in the performance. While for the open jet drives, we got the score of double to 64. On the unofficial build, this score was double to 72, so negligible difference is found here. If we check the Hulkan graphics performance, we got the score of 1854, while on the unofficial build, this score was 2016. Here, massive drop is seen only for the Hulkan graphics performance, but it doesn't have any major impact on the GP performance as most of the application didn't use Hulkan graphics till the date. Some major differences we found between the official and unofficial builds are here. First one is the official ROM comes with the OnePlus setting application which has lots of tunables and advanced settings. While on the unofficial build there is a setting called as the device extras. Here some additional setting for the alert slider position is available except that all the features are same. Official ROM comes with the OT updater application so we get the new OT update notifications. You can download and flash the update right from the stock setting. While unofficial build didn't have this, so you need to flash the OTA YTWRP recovery. In the about phone setting, we can clearly see this is the official build and supported by the Optimus Prime with the weekly updates. So as compared to the unofficial build, this ROM supports the earlier updates with the official fixes that lacks in the unofficial build. If you talk about the bugs, both the official and unofficial build didn't have any issues except the bug of Hey Google which persists in the both the builds. So what is my final conclusion about the official and unofficial builds? I think the official builds are more refined and has more stable experience with the official update support. Only thing missing is the stock Oxygenus camera application. But now Gcam is also fully working so I think you will not need the stock Oxygenus camera here. But if you still desperately needs the Oxonus camera and the gallery then use the unofficial build. But remember as the controversy is going on which leads to ban for the developer Veritas in the official group of the Evolution X and Rhizoid. So there may be chances in upcoming days Veritas may drop the support for these unofficial builds. So choice is yours. Until then if you think I helped you through this video then please do like and share, press bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.